Hey, hope we're doing good. Today we're out here in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm gonna try out the Tenjo Sushi Buffet. It looks absolutely amazing, and you can currently get the premium level buffet for about 1,529 baht per person, which is only about 50 US dollars. And the food looks really good. I'm really excited to try it out and share this with you. Also, make sure to hit that like button. Let's try to hit 100 likes for this video. And if you're new to the channel and you wanna watch more videos about Thailand, make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get updated for my future videos. Yep, so here we are heading to the place. This is the inside of the Tenjo Sushi and Wagyu Buffet out here in Bangkok, Thailand. And this is the menu here. As you can see, they got really premium items to choose from. They got lobster, they got Wagyu beef, they got sushi, and you use these number cards to order. Just look at all this delicious food, seafood, beef, salad, miso soup, goza. It's just an endless supply of things to choose from. Oysters, sushi upon sushi upon sushi. And they do have drinks for you to choose from it is self-serving you got some juices and I decided to get some uh, matcha green tea so this is how you do the ordering so you look at uh, the menu and you see that the number so for example I want to order number 89 which is the sushi salmon so I'm gonna look for number 89 on this uh, paper card and I'm going to put how much I want. Do I want one piece? In this case, I put two pieces. And this was one of the first things I ordered, which was um, some Wagyu uh, beef. And you have to be careful because the, the food cooks really fast on here. So you got to be careful not to burn your, your food. Some salmon over here. Some more Wagyu beef strips. And an avocado salmon shot perfectly cooked wagyu beef that was the first thing i ate here it absolutely blew my mind avocado shot with uh, salmon and and fish eggs i believe this was absolutely delicious it just every pretty much everything at this restaurant was amazing salmon that i had here was was better than pretty much any place I've had in Thailand. This was also uh, salmon sushi with a little bit of caviar on the top. Wagyu strips. More Wagyu. This was amazing. It had some teriyaki sauce on the top. If you haven't tried Wagyu beef, you need to try some Wagyu beef because it, it's it's out of this world. Like normal beef and Wagyu beef is completely different. I can't believe I waited so long to try Wagyu beef. I only tried Wagyu beef for the first time like I don't know, maybe a couple months ago. I didn't even know what Wagyu beef was before. And this place, you can't come here like every single day because you're going to be bored of it. I, I feel like if you're going to come to this uh, Tenjo place, it needs to be like for special occasions, Maybe, like once a month or once every three months or something like that. And then it really makes you enjoy it a lot more. And this was also Wagyu beef, but it's a different cut. This seems to be kind of one of their more premium items here. I can't really tell the difference between the different cuts. It all it all pretty much tastes the same. It's all pretty good. Here's some seaweed salad. And you got to be careful too to pace yourself because I was I got really excited and I just started eating super fast. But uh, definitely definitely pace yourself or you're going to overstuff yourself too quickly. 
and you can just see all that all that fat just leaking out of the out of the beef some sushi some eel some more sushi I'm not sure what the other ones are I forgot some gyoza dumplings these gyoza dumplings were really good um, they were pork on the inside really good pretty much everything that I tried here at this at this place was really good um, some of the things I didn't really like but it wasn't so much about the quality wasn't good it was mainly I just didn't like that like I tried some of the eel and um, they used a little different method than what I'm used to they included the more of the fatty part some people might really like that um, also the the four gua sushi the four gua sushi you kind of have to be in the mood for eating that because sometimes you can really enjoy it it's really good and then sometimes you kind of don't really aren't in the mood for it so certain things might you may like here you may not like but overall the quality of every single item I, I was impressed I thought everything was pretty much high quality which hopefully because you're paying fifty dollars per person <laughs> that's quite expensive out here this was actually really good these were some oysters with I believe caviar on the top and shrimp eggs um, they were raw, so I, I usually don't eat raw oysters, but uh, I did try them. They were kind of one of the specialty items. So this is how I eat them. Um, I'm sure there's other ways that you can do it, but I, I use the chopsticks and I just picked it up like this. The combination between the three things are was really good. I tried one without sauce. So it also comes with this sauce right here that I'm going to dip it in. I tried one oyster with sauce and one oyster without sauce. And good job, Julian. You dropped your oyster in the sauce. <laughs> I preferred the oyster without the sauce. The sauce was good too, but if I had to choose between the sauce and not sauce, I would prefer without the sauce. And you got to be careful, like I said, um, to watch your, your beef getting cooked or it could catch on fire and burn it. Here's the foie gras sushi that I was telling you about. Um, it was good. I just, I wasn't really in the mood to eat foie gras. You have to be in the mood to eat foie gras to really enjoy the foie gras. Salmon. Like I said, this, this salmon was good, but it's a little thicker than I, than I prefer. I prefer just kind of more thinly sliced um, eel. This was the eel I was telling you about. Lobster. Baby lobsters, I think. Very relaxing atmosphere. I mean, there was probably only like two other people in the entire restaurant. This location is located on Rama 9, but there's other locations throughout throughout Thailand. I think there's like five locations. And they do um, change the coals pretty often. I think they did like two times. And they also change the, the top too when it's, it starts to get black. As you can see, this is the new uh, stove top. Customer service here is, is really good. Food was good. Customer service was good. Um, the only thing is the price is kind of high, but besides, besides the price, I, I have no complaints. And $50, you might look at that as being expensive. $50 coming from where you're from, depending wherever you're watching this in the world, you might think that's super cheap, $50 per person. I've never cooked this lobster before so I actually undercooked it the first time I tried this is it looks cooked but actually I, I undercooked this so I ended up putting it back into the, the stove to cook it some more
not very long, just for just for a few seconds. It's very hot. I mean, it, it cooks super fast. That's why I would suggest you not to put too many things cooking at one time because if you're if you're busy eating and you're you know kind of in the zone of eating, you might forget about the stuff that you're cooking. Miso soup was great. I ended up drinking the miso soup the old-fashioned way like this. Avocado shot. Um, absolutely amazing. I've never had this before. It was basically avocado with salmon and, and some fish eggs. Eat it just like that. Some more sushi. I don't even know what this was. I can't remember. But everything was was great okay now this was something that was kind of weird not not the clam but the, the other thing it was like some kind of crab um i don't even know what it was but i'm i don't want to find out because i feel like if i knew what it was i wouldn't want to eat it <laughs> but this this clam was pretty good this was raw i was i'm pretty sure this clam uh this crab thing right here was weird it tasted very bizarre. It was very creamy, kind of like a like a soup. And like I said, I, I think it is something kind of weird. So I, I don't I don't want to find out what it was because I actually kind of enjoyed eating it. Sometimes when you find out what what it actually is, you don't want to eat it because it's kind of weird. I was starting to get full around here. <laughs> But they do have a nice uh, supply of desserts too. Some jello, some basic uh, fruits, stuff like that. Chocolate fountain. Also uh, some basic desserts, some sweets, some kind of mochi style stuff. I think this is a crushed ice machine. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't, I didn't try it. And then of course you do have your, uh, your ice cream over here, which I always have to make a stop at the ice cream section. I love my ice cream. Six flavors to choose from at this moment in time. I ended up getting uh, vanilla chocolate chip and also coffee chocolate chip. Very good. Hey, so I just got done eating at the Tenjo Sushi Buffet out here in Bangkok, Thailand. And overall, I thought it was really good. Uh, the total price after tax was 1,529 baht, which is approximately 50 US dollars. Overall, I thought the food was great, uh, very high quality in my personal opinion. Uh, is it the cheapest place in town? Definitely not. Uh, this is even more expensive than most of the places that I'm okay with paying, but I have to admit the food was very good and not a lot of places can you eat uh, Wagyu beef and sushi and all these other kind of uh, quote unquote delicacies, but there was some like kind of weird stuff on the menu too that I was happy to try out. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a like. Every single like helps me out a lot. And if you're new to the channel and you wanna keep watching more videos about Thailand, make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you get updated for my future videos. See you in the next video, bye bye.